Hello guys, welcome to a new episode of Minecraft Dungeons. I'm happy to see that you're back. Please leave a like, subscribe and enjoy. And let's get straight into the video. Okay, then we'll do the next mission. So, I'm like, just strong enough. There's still an artifact I haven't found here. Tasty bone, mushroom. Maybe I'll get it when I'm on a higher difficulty. Maybe it increases the odds. I think this is like the next area for us to go. Like, do I have to? So I don't have to complete those. I can just go straight to power 10. Um, okay then, I guess we'll just do this one on the third difficulty. So I should probably keep my upgrade points as well. For when I'm like at a max level or something. A coven of wicked witches live at the heart of the sinister swamp. They conjure up all manner of brews to empower the arch illager and his ever-growing army. If you don't find and defeat those witches, the illagers will be unstoppable. But tread carefully. The swamp is home to many horrors. Damn, that promises. Can't actually go in the water here. Okay, we'll check this way. Oh, it's like the first time we encounter that one. Ah, oh, forgot. Oh. It's not really worth on, on three of them, but might as well. Okay, so is there anything over here? Looks like you could get to that. But you definitely can't. Look like this weird. Set him on fire. Still some monsters this way. Oh, crossbow. I'm guessing that thing shoots faster. Yeah. That's dangerous. I might rush through my arrows and so your arrows reset every level or something like that. Now I have only like 50 of them. <laughs> oh damn, so it's... It's useful when there are a lot of enemies like in a small area. Shot spread so 
Well, if they are like bunched together like this, it's quite useful. Otherwise, it's a bit less useful to be honest. So I might hold back on the bow a bit. Since it since it has been easy so far, I like tend to forget to look at my health. Though. So it might be dangerous in the future. Those witches hit pretty hard. So I'm guessing it's also better to charge my shots. Like always. You can't charge this. Alright, alright. It's already starting to get a little bit harder. Might as well rush through them while I have to... Ooh, Glaive. Got these arrows. I'll check this way. Oh, I can't. So do it actually shoot? No, oh, it counts it counts as one arrow if I shoot it. That's good to know. Definitely harder now. Nothing over here. Shit. So when I touch these cauldrons, they probably spawn monsters, I'm guessing. So I thought about first clearing the area out of it. So they don't. Ooh, that one gave way more coins. It's another clave. Keep that in mind.
nice. That's all of them. So I'm already getting like a way more loot now as well. Uh, this gives way more health, but the cooldown takes longer. What's aura? have three nearby enemies. Damn. So, do I need to upgrade it to have it? Or is it now just tier one? It's just like, oh damn. This actually suits my character. This one is uh, green, but just means that there's better, like, extra things around here. I actually say this one is better for now. Um, so, why does this not have enchantments and this has, like, a second? Damn, these clothes are actually really, really cool. Oh, so I also shoot more of those. Okay. Oh, this is a cool little area. really weak, was he? It's very dark in this area. Oh shit, I'm going to die. These are actually harder to dodge. Okay, I mustn't forget if I roll do like this thunder ability. Is there literally nothing over here? <laughs> so this hunting bow, is this better? Also has multiple abilities. I think I actually prefer like a normal bow. Since I can shoot it like at single enemies. Okay, so we'll go this way then. It didn't do anything, did it? Oh no, that was... Actually, I am rolling out. So why doesn't it do it? Damn, almost jumped in there. <laughs>
set an upgrade. It's a level upgrade anyway. Thinking about it, this bow is very useful combined with the firework arrows. How are you all doing guys? I tend to always talk about the game but I also want to talk about more about personal stuff. Maybe how are you guys doing? You can leave a comment down below. And I could talk about it like in the next video while I'm playing. Since it's quite straightforward what I'm doing. Just killing monsters pro progressing through the level. Trying not to die. Is it also as good weather as uh, with you as where I live? Yes, it's been very well here for the last month, two months, so during this corona time. We've been having very good weather, which doesn't happen a lot in Belgium. So that combined with not having to go to school or work, it's very nice actually. You also have like a bit of rest, time for yourself, which I've always liked actually, but now you must take time for yourself, you don't even have a choice now. You can imagine that for some people this is very boring, um, having so much free time, but there's also so much you can do, like you can work out every day, be healthy, cook, play video games, watch movies, there's so much you can do. You could write if you like that. I mean, when you go to school you have like time for nothing. So it is quite nice, this extra... Damn, that guy hit hard. Quite a long level, but can't tell yet if it's longer as the previous ones. Like, there must be something over here. Why would there be a bridge to that area? Hey, level up. So I'm now level 8. Maybe if I'm like low on health or if I've used my my um, my healing potion, maybe it's better to use my bow a little bit more then, just to not take extra damage. There must be something over here, must, isn't there? Like look at this. This is nothing. It's just strange, isn't it? Later on today I'll also be eating fries, I don't know, in the UK they call it chips, I don't know what they call it in America or other countries, here we call it, we call them actually fries, like you know french fries, uh, and yeah, after that I'll probably go for a walk with a friend of mine, which is quite fun. I've been meeting that, that guy a lot lately. Um, 
playing tennis. It's a very fun activity. I used to play tennis when I was younger, but um, I don't know, I didn't like it anymore. It was like always the same thing over and over again. Which is kind of what you could expect, to be honest, but I was just tired of it, to be honest. And now I've been going more with friends of mine and getting back into it. I really like it to be honest. And it's also fun to be better at something than your friends. Mostly I'm not the best at something. I'm like decent at a lot of things, but I'm not the best. So I didn't actually expect this was the end. I thought the cave was going to keep going. I thought there was like another way out didn't go. Um yeah, so I played tennis when I was younger for a couple of years, maybe about six or seven. Not really competition. Um I think I competed in two actually tournaments. Didn't do bad, didn't do very well. Um Ooh, I think I just got daggers. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to use that. This is way better, why would I use the daggers? Uh, so yeah, now I'm getting back into it. Um, I also remember when I was younger, I, was, I used to be so bad at serving in tennis. Now all of a sudden it's going very well. My serve, my serving is very well. And also quite hard, and it's in, so quite happy about that. Maybe if I get into it more the coming months, I actually get back on a decent level. I might um, I might just start doing tournaments again. I'm not sure though. Tell me what what sports do you guys play? Oh, so my first hit when I come out of the shadow form is like a critical. Okay. Is there any sports you guys play? Like, and do you do it in competition or something? I used to smoke but I'm trying to quit now. I've quit like a couple of days now. I've quit before but, well, many times before to be honest with smoking but um, always when I quit smoking I, I'm i like really into sports. I can do it on a daily basis. And if I don't do it on, on a certain day then it feels, it feels like, I don't know, like I've been l very lazy that day. Even though if, if I've done a lot of stuff, just like my body feels that way. Oh damn. Venomous Glaive. What the hell is that? It's even better than my previous thing. I will keep my axe, but... Damn. I've also forgot to spawn my wolf this whole level. When used, the harvester released... Souls... And an explosion. So I need like a weapon that's get a soul. I will keep that. I think this is very very useful. Um, I think I'll just salvage the other things for now. There's no point in really keeping those. Glaive will be very useful for like range attacks. 
so then don't get like swarmed by a couple of enemies. Okay, let's call in the wolf finally. Just completely forgot about that one. Okay, nothing over here. It's like my my second epic weapon and like Damn it's good. My second epic in just two games. Three hundred. the levels will be easier again now. There's nothing in there. Do you guys like sunny weather? I mean, I think it's like something almost everything. Whoa, he threw it like way too far. Shit, 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 I can't get out. What the hell are these sounds? Will they heal it? So otherwise I can just wait for my healing to come back. Yes, I definitely need it. Time he actually drops something. Okay, so I should try and hit it with my firework. Nice. Red is still healing me. No! What? I couldn't get out. That's not fair. Like it didn't allow me to get out of there. Nice. Moon daggers. What the hell? Another? suit like this this armor I'd say like the daggers okay I definitely want to test those hopefully it's not the end of the oh shouldn't have done too soon the arch villagers potion supply is no more and it'll be a long time before the witches recover from this blow well done thank you Soul Healer. The Soul Healer Amulet is called to touch and trembles with the power of souls. It is common among illagers. I think that's another very good item. Heals the most injured ally nearby, including yourself. Dude, if I get a soul weapon... If 
only I had one. Look at how much good stuff I'm getting. Is it normal to get this much? Because I don't think it is. Not as far I've seen gameplay of this game. Oh, these blades are very nice. Souls critical boosts. What does that mean? Yo, these blades are insane. These are even better than the glaive and the axe. Definitely going to keep those items. They seem to be very good. If I have like a chest, maybe I'll put them in there. I'm not sure if I have something like that. No, I don't think I have. Maybe it's something you unlock later on. He still doesn't do anything else. Yo guys, I will be ending this episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.